this point, I've given up. I've given up. Yeah, yeah I've just given up. <laughs> Three, 
after we don't do all of this and say it's my friend's birthday i'm not gonna even answer you okay i'm telling you from now you might think i mean i'm a mistake okay. i have a question is it it's it's virgo season over yet go and tell me somebody please tell me if virgo season is over oh, yet <laughs> wait wait somebody please google that google, what, what my phone no, Virgo season isn't over yet. It's not over yet. <laughs> it, it finished on December 22nd? It's not over yet. What today is? You all finish tomorrow? What time is it now? It ain't time. <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You all finish in four hours? All my Libras make some noise! I can't. I can't, I I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just, y'all got four hours, I just tried to kick y'all out one time and done. Yeah. The best season, the best month, the, Li the Libras, we're the best. Libras, we're the best. I'm a Libra, I'm a Libra, I'm a, I'm a Libra, I'm sorry. Take it down, the DJ hate us. <laughs> he was dating a Libra and he could not handle it. We are not for the week. Keep it high for P. Just a. Alright? Please, okay? Please. If you, if you do anything, I have to kick you off the page. I do apologize. Oh, wow. So y'all gotta keep it clean for me, please. Alright, let's be careful. You see how much people are here? The ambulance can take forever to come. So stay right there. Okay? On the count of three, we're gonna say happy birthday to these people who are celebrating their birthday. And when we say happy birthday, you're gonna keep it clean, dance, because it's your birthday. One, two, three. Kayla, but not that way. All right? So you're gonna love everything 
thing that you're about to see in here, and I need you to do me a favor. After the Junkanoo Band performs, I need you to go and book a tour to the Junkanoo Museum to learn a little bit more of the history um, and culture behind the music, the instruments, and of course these beautiful costumes. Now friends, friends, Cheyenne friends, don't go too far from her, okay? Don't go too far from her, but stay to the side. All right? You okay, Cheyenne? You okay? All right. Yes, fix it for her. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, I need, um, officer, please, see? Officer, Mario, these people right here, they need to go over some more, please. Yeah, right there, right there, right down there. Y'all need to go over to the side some more, please. Please play Mario. Mario string all our room every Thursday for free. <laughs> yes, please move on to the side oh. Please oh. Move on. Please. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, come on, help me make some noise for our Junkanoo Queen, Cheyenne, and the wee fog of Junkanoo Boys.
Hi guys, today is the, oh my gosh, I can't keep up, 23rd, 23rd of September. I know I didn't film yesterday, to be honest, we stayed in most of the day, there wasn't much to film. You know, I'm still catching up on Manifest, I'm on season four now, so hopefully I will finish the last few episodes tonight. Um, today, you saw this morning, it was thunder, it was storm, it was a lot. Um, but we did, make, we did make it out to Five Keys Beach, so we went there for a little while, but the storm mashed up the beach right it was really choppy and everything so i didn't get in i just kind of enjoyed the waves the sounds and the sun and so on and so on anyways it's like evening time now and we're going out for a meal uh, my i can't with my hair i cannot with my hair i just don't know what to do with it except stick it on top of my head like i did for fish fry i'm just like sticking it up on top of my head i've got church tomorrow morning which is my last day i'll probably do it i'll probably do the same thing again at this point I've given up. I've given up. Yeah, yeah I've just given up. It's. <sighs> I just I can't. Anyways, it's fine. It, I'm going home soon and I will be just chopping these out. I just cannot. Um, but yeah, I learned my lesson. 100% learned my lesson. So yeah, we're going to a place called Mango Reef. It's like um, just a nice restaurant. It's like our final meal, our last meal together as a family and then we leave tomorrow at around I think the plane takes off at half six in the afternoon so it's gonna be a late flight great looking forward <laughs> anyways um this has been such a beautiful wholesome holiday I haven't had one of these in a very long time so I thank god I have so much gratitude like my cup was full before, so imagine how much it's overflowing now. You know what I mean? Like, ugh, just amazing. Just so, so amazing. Anyways, guys, um, hopefully I can take some footage of the food and the restaurant and so on and so on. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I just, I can't. Sorry, my hair is, is, is distracting me because it just looks so terrible. I can't. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> I'm enjoying my last official night in Turks and Caicos, baby. <laughs> and I will see you soon. Hello everyone and welcome to the end of my Turks and Caicos vlogs, unfortunately. I really hope you enjoyed them. Um, I really did enjoy filming and editing and just being there in general. But yeah, the, the video has come to a halt because after the last clip you just saw, which is what I just edited, there's nothing after that. It just ends and I know why it did. Not a good excuse to not film, but either way it happened. So yeah, that evening <laughs> we went to Mango Reef and I'm not... I, I really don't want to complain um i'm trying to not complain i'm trying to not be a complainer i guess i've always tried to be that but more than ever i feel like when you're complaining it's taking up space from where you could give thanks where you could have gratitude and i don't want to take it away do you know what i mean because there's so much more things to give thanks for than this one little incident but just to quickly sum it up what happened um it had rained I think I showed you like a bit of thunder and lightning. It rained that day, and so what had happened was the restaurant we went to was a lot it was very wet, but it was also open. And so because it was open, even though it had like ceilings and stuff, it was quite open. A lot of insects. It felt like I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. There was flies. There was moths. <laughs> just everything everything and i am so scared i am so scared of insects and anything surrounding insects and and coming to think of it i think that same day there was a cockroach in the house and i learned something that day i learned that cockroaches fly i'm sorry was this was this just me was this just me i never knew cockroaches flew oh my gosh and it was so big and it was so big and imagine, okay, I know I'm going left, but imagine killing something, putting it in the bin, and then it jumps back out the bin. So, yeah. 
so they're big they fly and they resurrect no absolutely not but the point of the matter is i had a very tough evening okay it was very hard for me like i could deal with the flies right at the meal first it was just the flies and then moths and that's it that's it i could feel myself getting hot i could feel myself wanting to cry because i got really upset like from that moment i just felt very trapped because i don't want to make a scene right i don't want to cause a scene but i am so afraid and yet it just ruined my entire night like the food was fine i had no issue with the food but um yeah it changed my entire mood and i just could not i just could not continue and so you know we came home and then we were laughing about it it was fine and whatever and it went back to normal but i just didn't have it in me i just didn't have it in me and yeah i think it was that same night there was the cockroach yeah the cockroach now it was just a lot it was just a lot and i just couldn't i just couldn't so yeah um the next day we went to church um basically say goodbye to everyone some people came over to the house and so on and so on and then yeah we made our basically just under 24 hour journey home it was a long it took a long time to get home because um it's about 11 hours on the flight and then you know we got a coach home so that's like we had to wait first a few hours for that to happen and then the coach is like five hours and then we have to get taxi to our actual house it was a very long journey home and so yeah i was wiped out i was wiped out this is why i can only come and tell you this have i told you what day it is today it is the 10th of december yeah yeah this is very new like this is very fresh like <laughs> it has been a while i just thought you know what i'll do the ending when the ending comes and the ending is here now so yeah we're in the winter season christmas season um holidays but um yeah i just want to thank god so much so much for all the blessings that we were able to go there have an amazing time i thank god for my amazing in-laws they were so they were so wonderful i'm not gonna lie um a true blessing sent from god if i'm honest um, and yeah, it was just a it was a great experience and I can't wait to go back again uh, You're not gonna get you're not gonna get I'm being honest You're not going to get another vlog like this if I when I go back not if when I go back If I am to film it will only be a montage mm -mm. It will only be a montage, but with that being my first time I thought you know let me Put the full-on effort to you know give you a proper travel vlog, but yeah going forward probably just be a montage but yeah such a good time my husband really loved being home he'd missed it he wasn't able to go because of covid and and so on so yeah um yeah it was really good and i just can't wait to go back <laughs> i just can't wait to go back you know minus the insects and the cockroaches and the lizards and you know the mosquitoes that killed me other than that yeah it was amazing it's definitely my third home my third home, yeah, my third home. Because England is always going to be my first home. I was born and bred here. And obviously Dominica, Nature Isle of the Caribbean, of course. And then Turks and Caicos, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Anyways, this vlog is too long, so I'm going to end it here, guys. I'm going to end it here. I have to get this and uh, start editing it as well so I can finish off the vlog. And then after this, there will be one last video for the end of the year. Um, and then I will see you in the new year. Um, so yeah, I won't say too much, but thank you so much for watching my vlogs. Make sure to catch up on any that you haven't watched yet, and I will see you on my next video.